Revelation chapter 2. When we began reading from uh, verse 1 yesterday, we, we came across the first of the seven churches that Jesus told John to write. In this first church was Ephesus. And I, I took you through um, the introductory part of their history just so you could understand something about that church and I said that a lot of times you'll find that the history of a group, a people, a nation can have a lot to do with uh, their future. A posterity. It's important to know where one's coming from. And so that if there are things to fix, you fix them. Because if you don't fix them, they're like what the Bible calls little foxes that spoil the vine. So I told you about um, how that uh, the church was founded by Paul from an earlier work done by Apollos. So I'm going to give you, I actually gave you the scriptures, but let's just read so you understand. We'll, we'll try to read this real quick. Acts chapter 18, we'll read from verse 19. Acts chapter 18, from verse 19. And he came to Ephesus. Who? Paul. Paul came to Ephesus and left them there. But he himself entered into the synagogue and reasoned with the Jews. That's what I told you yesterday. When they desired him to tarry longer time with them, he consented not. He reasoned with the Jews about the gospel. They wanted him to stay longer. He didn't want to stay. Why? It says, but bade them farewell, saying, I must by all means keep the feasts that cometh in Jerusalem. I told you he wanted to go to Jerusalem. So he didn't want to stay longer in Ephesus. So he met briefly with the Jewish uh, community there and reasoned with them about the gospel. So he says, but I will return again unto you if God will. And he sailed from Ephesus. So he left. Okay. So that um, just to show you, Paul had been there and who he was in contact with. Acts chapter 18. Let's go to verse 24. Same book, same chapter. Verse 24. And a certain Jew named Apollos, born in Alexandria, an eloquent man and mighty in the scriptures, came to Ephesus. Now remember, Paul came briefly. He's left. He's gone over to Jerusalem. And Apollos came to Ephesus. Verse 25. This man was instructed in the way of the Lord. And being fervent in the spirit, he spoke and taught diligently the things of the Lord. Mark the next line. Knowing only the baptism of John. Knowing only the baptism of John. Think about it. All right. Um, verse 26. And he began to speak boldly in the synagogue. Look at it again. Synagogue. Whom when Apollo, um, uh, Aquila, whom when Aquila and Priscilla had found, had heard, they took him unto them and expounded unto him the way of God more perfectly. So Aquila and Priscilla, as I told you, they're a couple, husband and wife. Um, they took Paul, um, Apollos into their fellowship and taught him more about the way of the Lord. They heard him. They saw that he was passionate about the scripture, but he only knew the baptism 
of John. So they taught him. But you see, he also didn't stay. But remember, he taught diligently. He was mad in scriptures. Taught diligently. Okay. Next verse. And when he was disposed to pass into Achaia, so he's going towards Corinth, the brethren wrote, exhorting the disciples to receive him, who when he was come, helped them much. Uh, he went to Corinth. So he's gone from Ephesus. Okay, remember some details I gave you about him. Let's see what happens next. We go to chapter 19. We are in verse 1. It came to pass that while Apollos was at Corinth. Now we just read he's gone to Achaia, to Corinth. Okay? So while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul, having passed through the upper coast, came to Ephesus. So now Paul's back to Ephesus. He said, I'll come back, God willing. Now, God was surely willing, and he's back here. So watch. And finding certain disciples, mm -hmm, next verse, he said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. And he said unto them, Unto what then were ye baptized? And they said, Unto John's baptism. Watch, they only knew the baptism of John. Who did they hear from? Apollos. Had it been Aquila and Priscilla, they would have known about the Holy Ghost. But because they only heard from Apollos, it was Apollos' message of John's baptism that they also had. So we can see these disciples that, are, that Paul came to meet in Ephesus, had only the message of Apollos. And then, of course, the Bible tells us from there, you can read the rest of the verses. He said, yes, John truly baptized with water, and then he explained to them about Jesus in the Holy Ghost, and then he laid hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. And Paul continued with them much longer. In fact, you can read If you look at, um, there's so much in there because he stayed a long time in. I told you all the trouble that eventually came and how he separated the brethren so they could now have their own fellowship rather than meeting with the Jewish community continually. So he actually set up the church in Ephesus. And, uh, and that was it. It was in this Ephesus, the Bible tells us, when you read from verse 13 of chapter 19, you read to uh, verse 17. About some vagabond Jews. Okay. Apparently, they had observed the miraculous ministry of Paul in that place. In how he cast out devils and healed the sick. So they too. Copycats. Watch this. They too. Called to themselves. Those who, were, who had evil spirits. So they got this man. Who was possessed of evil spirits. And they said to him. We adjure you. In the name of Jesus Christ. By whom Paul preaches. To come out of this man. They also wanted to go cast out devils. Copycats. They know the foundation. They know the gospel. We're not believers in Jesus Christ. And of course, the man that was possessed leaped on them, beat them, tore their clothes, wounded them, and they ran for dear life. Now, notice something there. These were people in the city, these were not even Christians. So they're copying a ministry of the gospel 
and they're trying 